So downsizing happens for many different reasons. Usually people think about retirement and when they're getting to that point in their lives where they just don't need the accommodation any longer. But there are other reasons as well. People choose to put themselves into a position where they're nearer to where their hobbies are, nearer perhaps to where their children are living, and sometimes on that subject to help their children by releasing equity from a sale of a property to, to buy their own properties. It could be ill, Ill health as well, or moving to a different area um, and uh, property prices being more expensive. So there are multiple reasons why not, it's not just about retirement. The most common mistake I find that people have made is that they've made the decision too late. They realise that the time to have downsized is in the rear view mirror now, it was a little while ago, um, and they've now reached a point where they have to downsize rather than they've chosen to downsize. Well, most people don't want to feel that they've compromised by downsizing. They don't want to feel that their quality of life is impacted. In fact, they want to feel the opposite, that they've got more opportunities to do more things. So the kind of properties that people look for are townhouses, typically, and sometimes flats, occasionally bungalows. It depends on the lifestyle that they're looking to achieve from the downsizing. Well, it's all about lifestyle because it's the first time probably in most people's lives where they have more money to buy the property than um, they've ever had before. So they need to be thinking about what their life looks like or what it's going to look like. For instance, will they want extra space for entertaining? Um, will they need bedrooms for the children or the grandchildren? Will they need some garden or some outside space? So the things that people want generally when they're downsizing is they want to be more accessible. They want their lifestyle activities, hobbies, that kind of thing, be more accessible. I think the pluses are that you, you, you have an opportunity to think about how your life is going to be the next stage. I mean, for us, it was children going off to university and realising that our hobbies and interests were not where we were actually living. So it was a question of changing our location to take advantage more of the things that we had found that we were beginning to do more um, and could see in the future. I was very conscious of trying to make that decision while we were still in the sort of phase of, of, of doing more things in the area that we wanted to be in rather than contracting and stopping to do things that we enjoyed doing just because the travel was getting in the way.